and one day, in June 1777, I was out there watching the smoke coming up in the ground. But you know, folks, Benedict Arnold heard the news. Uh, gee, the Hessians are coming. They have arrived at the farm, and they're trying to track us all. So they are very keen, George, to hurt of all England. Yikes! Charity? Oh, shucks, not again. This is the third time this week we've attacked you. Our Grand Union flag looks just like the British flag. I bet the roads are destroyed. We won't be able to go anywhere. Dig a straight line! <gasps> From ocean to ocean. Ahem. I'm demonstrating. Now, you are a very angry young man. When anger builds up, you need to invent, right? Well, I, I don't know if I'd consider myself talented, really. Dashing, courageous, brilliant, incredibly handsome, perhaps. See, soon you will run out of tiny countries, okay? So I recommend conquering furniture, because there's always enough furniture to, you know, smash, like this. So why are you, you know, obsessed with this greatness thing? Can we talk about your mother? I was pretty spectacular. Of course, I, I couldn't have done it without my troops. Exactly. So I, I want you to get plenty of peace and quiet. I'll come see you again in two weeks. Presenting the cast of How I Met Your Mother. Outrageous. Look at that. This uncouth, barbaric, pompestuous lout. He should not be here when their mother is out. Are you sure? It really looks like a pugnant. Ha! No can do, mister! You need to find a better spot! Out of this house. I'm warning you, get out! <clears throat> Too late! Well, the idea is I don't want you to fire until they're very close. All right. I don't think so. You mean real close, like this. Yes. yes, that is close enough. All right about that, chaps. I'll teach you kids to play in my yard. Heathens! Put down that trait set this instant! Then, of course, those with stars all got frightfully mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then, of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star office. Congress, they write the laws. The judicial branch! Those are the judges. They explain the laws. And the executive branch! That's the president. I enforce the laws. Benedict Arnold would go on to distinguish himself as one of America's most successful military leaders, especially during the crucial battle fought at Saratoga in 1777. Mm. Let him go! Get him! Not fit to be boy. After I've been annoyed by the wild lock kiddie, I'm going to use the real lock kiddie to get rid of the Asher once and for all! It's Loud Killington and his dog Fetch! Whoa! Look out, Gwen! Gwen? Henry? Are you alright? This is totally bogus. Ship today, that's bad for Plymouth Rock. You can worship and relax. Just don't ever turn your backs. Talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. Howdy, Roman citizens! Loud Kennington here! And if I can't make you a deal, my dog Fetchley the Metal Muffin! Whoa! Look out, Gwen! I'll go in here. You go there. Yes, sir! You too can enjoy vacation living on its finest in the room. Get that ash out! Don't let them get away! Yeah, maybe they didn't get any sleep last night and their eyes are all red and bloodshot. And there's no extra charge for the fevers, famine, and hardships! <gasps> Can we talk about this? Damn you, Hessian! You had nothing to destroy me now! Oh, you can't say that! That word is a no no! Hello, I'm Lydia Karaoke Network Sensor. Sorry, but we're having a little problem with your choice of words. In fact, some parts of our corporation are based in Atlanta. Oh, total difference. Bummer.
Yeah, right. The Hessians are mine. So get on the bandwagon and come on down to Pompey Acres before it's too late. Talk too loud, talk too loud, talk too loud. And so, in the summer of 1776, America finally has a flag to call its own, thanks to Bitsy Ross. Experimented with electricity and invented the lightning rod. I don't like it. It's yours! Then, of course, from then on, as you probably guessed, things really got into a horrible mess. Calm down! You double-crosser! But what a deal's a deal! Oh, yeah? I'm still gonna personally stuff you, and then I'm gonna frick a see you. When I'm through with you, there won't be any leftover. Your goblin days are over, turkey.